This is Mike Renato with Athletic Motion Golf, and uh, Sean did a breakdown of Jason Day's swing last week from the Arnold Palmer, which he won because we do tour winners on this se- on this segment. And lo and behold, he wins again. So we're going to take a little bit of credit for this. <laughs> so let's take a look at so the the new world's number one. This Jason Day, and there's a lot of really cool things to learn. From this video one is that even the best player in the world doesn't always hit fairways and greens doesn't always put the ball in the best place but an aspect of of Jason's game that doesn't get talked about enough certainly not as much as his full swing which <laughs> obviously garners a lot of the attention for it's just power speed and all those things is his short game and he does a couple of unique things that are somewhat unique to him swing wise but but his his short game sweet spot and his kind of religion for the shot are right on the money with what the best players in the world do so here we go he hit this ball over the green um he found himself on a very bare lie kind of that dried out dirt type lie that a lot of golfers see themselves playing from so you've got this hard pan lie all the way to cart pass so a very bare lie uh, a lot of amateurs a lot of you guys out there really don't care for this shot uh, the reason being um, and my dad's the same way I laugh every time I talk about a shot like this because he would rather have the ball in the first cut of rough that just higher than fair weight high rough than have it on a really tight lie because he likes the cushion under the ball and a lot of players are that way but if you know what to do with the golf ball and what you're trying to do with the golf ball is maybe how I should say it more importantly what you're trying to do with the golf ball this shot is so easy to play because it's pure contact there is nothing getting in the way of your club ball contact and once you understand that and kind of let go of some of the anxieties associated with maybe uh, blading the ball across the green by trying to do a couple things that you shouldn't be trying to do with this shot uh, this will become a very fun shot to play because one you can get a ton of spin on it as you're going to see here and really make the ball do what you want to do from a somewhat seemingly difficult lie but in actuality this is a very very um, easy lie to play from uh, once you understand what you're trying to do so let's take a look at how Jason tackles this. So we'll just take you through. So he's making some some practice swings here away from the ball. And what I believe he's doing is he's testing this ground. He's seeing one, are there any rocks around? Is it gonna be is it gonna kind of ricochet his club or he can he actually break the surface tension with the bounce of his wedge? So he's really trying to see what kind of ground he's standing on. Obviously it feels firm underfoot. But he wants to find out just exactly how that club is going to react once it contacts the ground. And what you're going to see is a lot of players who play these shots, you're actually, and we just did a video on this uh, yesterday, you're actually going to strike earth. <laughs> you're going to strike the big ball before you strike the little ball. And that's not a bad thing in the short game. And he's just seeing what kind of interaction that's going to have with his club to ball. All right, so he's ready to hit the shot. And one thing to really take note of, he is set up. So the camera is way back in here. So it's actually behind him. He's set up out this way. He's looking kind of somewhere over in here. So it's going to look like on this swing that he's taking the club really kind of outside and cutting across of it, and, which is not the case at all. Uh, it's just pure camera angle. His club is right here, um, it, and it's just purely because the camera is so far behind him. If the camera was actually down his line of play that he's swinging on, the club would look much more orthodox. So don't think this is a kind of a pickup, cut across type move. This is pure camera angle making it look that way. But what he is doing is really kind of setting the club and really releasing and getting that shaft back to vertical or very close to it um, by the time impact happens. So he's not trying to really lean this shaft and pick the ball cleanly. He's actually taking advantage of this 
perfect contact lie. No grass at all to get in between the club and the ball. And if you recall from the video yesterday, the leading edge of the club, when you have that shaft very close to vertical, is well below the center of the ball, well below the under curve of the golf ball. And you're going to get a very nippy, very um, high spin ratio for the effort you put into the shot because of that. And if he was trying to lean the shaft very, uh, a good bit forward, get a lot of that sweet spot of the club on the ball, all those things, he would be exposing the leading edge. The ball would come out a lot lower and have a lot less spin. Uh, he plays this shot absolutely beautifully. As you can see, throws it out well to the right. He actually plays a little cut shot. He does that quite a bit. Gets plenty of spin. I believe he makes the putt and goes on to uh, defeat Louis Ustazen to get his second match play title. And just incredibly uh, efficient with how he goes about testing the turf, returning that shaft close to vertical, using the short game sweet spot, and just puts a ton of zip on the ball from what a lot of golfers fear from this life. So my first bit of how to play this shot type of advice would be go play this shot. Find areas around your course, um, around your practice area, where you can kind of start to shed some of the anxiety with these bare lies. And you're going to eventually see that this shot is really easy to play. Now, there's not a lot uh, talent-wise that um, a ton of golfers can take away from a player like Jason Day, right? Highly athletic, a ton of speed, just a very ballistic golfer. But he's not using any of that in this shot. This is not a speed shot. This is not a highly athletic shot. This is not a long backswing. He's not making a ton of of shift and rotation and using brute force. He's applying the right concept and deploying the right intent to make this ball do exactly what he's trying to make it. And this is a shot ta on a talent scale that everyone watching this video can play and play it just as well. It's knowing what to do, getting away from the anxieties of it and going out there and just practicing it, having fun. And you're gonna really start to see you're going to put a string on this golf ball and really start zipping it around to where you're trying to make it. So again, not so much tactics, much more concept because his swing looks different than if, if Jordan Spieth was doing it, if you were doing it, if I were doing it. But we can all apply the same concept to get the same result. Congratulations on the win, Jason. Uh, number two in a row, number one in the world. Not a bad combination. Thanks for watching, guys.